What's up, folks? We're back with a Sunday reaction coming to you uh, live to tape. Had to come together because all of us live to tape. With the Sunday reaction for you coming <laughs> live to tape. Um, not when we do our live press plays, they're not live to tape. They're actually live. The last couple of ones we've done have been taped. Right, but I'm talking when we're actually live, they're live. Mm, when was the last time we were live? Mm, November sometime, I think. I think before November, maybe October. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, we're coming together because Oppenheimer, the trailer is out. Christopher Nolan's latest epic here. This is what he left Warner Brothers for. Um, is it going to be good? I mean, it's probably going to be good. Can, are you going to be able to understand what people are saying? Probably not. Stop that. Stop that. He had. Oh, so you can hear everything clearly in all of Christopher Nolan's movies? But Tenet had some issues. Tenet ain't the only one. Name five Nolan movies that had bad audio. What? That see, see, that's how I get you every time because you're like Tenet ain't the only one, and I'm like, well, name them. Okay, well, so don't I, say five. But I'm saying Bane's okay. audio wasn't good at the beginning. They had to redub it. Who's Bane? I had no problem understanding Bane. Yeah, you did once they redubbed it. That wasn't the original Bane. I didn't see the original Bane. I saw nobody it. did because, like we were talking about that beforehand, count. somebody had it does count. Somebody it had friends who said, released. "Hey, Chris, buddy, you need to redo hey, this hold, Bane voice again." I'll give you Tenet. Name others. You can't. Interstellar count. audio was bad. You think so? I didn't think so. Yes, I don't. This I, isn't I like it's not like Tenet is the first time people talked about the audio. Of I Chris disagree Bernal movies. with Interstellar. You just don't like Interstellar. That got nothing to do with the audio. <laughs> I do notice you didn't deny it. I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> Looking back hey, on man. it, Interstellar is fine. Hey, man, stop hating on Christopher Nolan. Let's get to this trailer because I want to see this. I'm not hating on Christopher Nolan. Mm -hmm. um, I want to hear this, this Oppenheimer and hear this non-audio. Let's go. Prove me wrong. I will say this. If you guys have seen our reaction videos, uh, we did talk about the Avatar and how much we're like, this trailer didn't do anything for me. The movie? I liked it. But uh, we'll talk about that some other time. Let's get that's, to Oppenheimer. That's because you a hater. You didn't like the trailer either. Shut up. Yeah, but I actually want to see it. <laughs> There's a difference. I mean, you went unwillingly. I mean, I saw it for free. That's what I'm saying. Anyway, like you wouldn't pay for it. Let's go. Hey, buddy, you good over there? Can you see? Think. Is that a nuclear explosion? <laughs> He's got his interest. I'll give him that. We imagine a future. And our imaginings horrify us. They won't fear it. Until they understand it. They won't understand it until they've used it. Theory will take you only so far. I don't know if we can be trusted with such a weapon. Is anyone ever going to tell the truth about what's happening here? looks beautiful you heard it too bitch you heard it well that's not a good argument because you could hear the trailer fine i didn't have an issue with the trailer so what are you talking about just making sure making sure okay great um yeah he that looks so cool 
Uh, did Owen like it? I mean, he, he started looking and then it felt like he kind of stopped. He had to stand up. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I like, uh, is, is it Killian or Cillian? I never know. Killian Murphy? Killian Murphy. Killian Murphy. Uh, I like him as an actor. I think he's awesome. And I like him here in terms of they won't fear it until they understand it. <laughs> that's a that's a great line just to think about the idea of what you're building. It's so it, it it no one's even thought about this. There's no way they can even approach or understand what what it is they're messing with. Because like no one would ever build something of this magnitude of destruction. <laughs> um Gee, and Oppenheimer's like, hey, <laughs> we can make stuff happen. But I, I think that I think that's a very powerful line. Stop. And Do you really believe that? I really believe what? What you just said. That no are, are you are you talking about the movie? No one would actually build this. Or are you saying no one would build this in terms of Oppenheimer's the movie? I think based on what we saw here and the what in, in this movie at this time, I don't think anybody could fathom what an atomic bomb was in terms of the, the pure destruction of it. Because you hadn't seen anything like it before. I would disagree with that statement. Okay. I be, Here's the difference. I believe that people understood and could fathom the magnitude of what they were building. I just think he was the best and the brightest at getting it done. And I think that is what... We always have ideas. It's nice to have ideas, but do you have the finances, the perseverance, and the wherewithal to make it possible? Mm -hmm. I think here's a man who had all of those things, who literally changed the face and the trajectory of this planet with an idea that he made possible. Um, personally, I was considering the movies that Nolan has made. I was in shock to a certain extent of why he chose this subject, why he chose this person. Cause I was like Oppenheimer. And then I actually sat down and thought about it, thought about the books that I've read, <coughs> excuse me, the documentaries I've watched. And I was like, Oh shit, this is perfect for him. The spectacle. Um, we know Christopher Nolan trashed a real plane in Tenet. Mm -hmm. I have no doubt in my mind this man would build something close to an atomic bomb just to have it go off for a shot. Well, he said he, he got he did these explosions oh, yeah. in-house, not they weren't mm -hmm. like CGI or whatever. Oh no, he built some real shit. And so yeah. I when you I think what people one, I, I like the teaser. This first teaser shows no one but Killian Murphy. And if you well, have, what do you mean? What do you mean? No one but Killian Murphy. It it focuses on Killian Murphy. Like, okay. like he is not, he's not the biggest star in this movie. Matt Damon's in this movie. Um, let's let's roll down who's actually in this movie. Florence Pugh, uh, David Crumholtz, Robert Downey Jr., Emily Blunt, Gary Oldman, uh, James Rimmer, Matt Damon, uh, Kenneth Bryant. Uh, Remy Malik, Jack Quaid, Josh Hardin, Casey Affleck, um, Josh Clark, or Jason Clark, James DRC, David Desmalchian. He's always in uh, Nolan's stuff. When you look at this cast, you're like, this might be one of the most. This has one of the best casts he's probably ever worked with outside of maybe inception um and most of it is centered around one person killian murphy who plays oppenheimer and i think that's on purpose to give you the scope and kind of narrow on this one man who had help he it, well he didn't just do this by himself but this one man again a lot of people in our business we talk about um writing to the audience getting them to so a lot of times we 
in, in shows, promotions, write things that aren't necessarily true. The best newscast, the most watched, you, you know what I'm saying? Like these superlatives, these hyperboles. This man literally changed the trajectory of our species with the atomic bomb. There are very few people who can, who can claim that right. I, I, I would count there maybe five to 10 people who have an impact on this world the way Oppenheimer has. And I think that is why the trailer focused on Killian Murphy so much in this trailer. Ortiz okay, you said all that, but what does that got to do with this first line at the beginning when you're like people or whatever? I, he's the one who did it. Okay. I think, and, and I say all of that to say, there were other people who thought this. There were other people who were working on it. He's the one who did it. Mm -hmm. And you get that sense of he did it. But then as you watch the teaser, you get the sense of, oh, shit, should I have done it? What am I doing? I'm about to prove these. You know, like you get mm -hmm. all of that. You get like, I'm about to go out on this mother. And then you get that. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have released that. <laughs> you get all of that. And I say that to say, he's the one who did it. Mm -hmm. Like you, the, the trailer starts off with this huge explosion. And you think about the fact of, oh, yeah. Like, when you think about it, the United States is the only country to drop an atomic bomb on some, on another country. Mm -hmm. And we did that shit twice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, like, when you like this movie, really, when you really think about what goes into this, I'm. I started off saying, I like a lot of people, why Oppenheimer? And then when you start and you really think about it, all the implications that this has, I'm shocked it hadn't been done before. Do we know that people have not tried to make an Oppenheimer movie? I will say this once again, Nolan's the only one who's pulled it off, just like Oppenheimer. <laughs> that's what that's one of the things you could you think about. Like we've talked about this before. A lot of people talk about trying to do stuff and have these ideas, but the person who pulls it off <laughs> ain't that right, buddy. Ain't that right? So is this does this convince you to go see this in theater? and to keep an open mind on the audio that's a loaded question and a bad question like i would answer the first part of the audio i mean the audio is going to be what the audio is going to be i don't know Do, like, I guess even even, gonna... even if the, even if the audio is crappy i would still go see it i mean i enjoy christopher nolan movies you make it sound like i don't like christopher nolan movies that's not what i said i said would this keep make does this trailer make you have an open mind do you think he's let me rephrase. Do you think he's learned the lessons of the past and making this, watching this teaser, make you think, okay, maybe he's fixed this? No. Really? Okay. No. I mean, because, the, again, the trailers aren't the issues. Who knows? I won't know till I see the movie. I think this movie is going to be incredible. I don't know whether or not the audio is good or bad. That's a separate issue for me. I can still enjoy it. I like Tenet. I just think the audio is bad in spots. I think the movie's fine. Don't like Interstellar, though. No. Sorry. Love isn't science. Come at me. Whoa. Love's not science. Come it is. at me. It ain't. It is. Okay. I, d I disagree with that. I mean, that's just because I have love in my heart. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some people. That's you know. fine. Um, I'm curious how much you know, we <coughs> talked about all the other people in the cast, right? The movie can only be so long, or, or I guess, well, to be fair, I guess it'll be as long as they want it to be, but the movie's probably only going to be, what, two and a half, three hours, maybe? You have all these big name people, so I wonder, are these all going to be little bit players in service to Oppenheimer, or uh, Murphy's Oppenheimer, uh, which I, I would be fine with. Just because you have a Robert Downey Jr. doesn't mean he has to get the main screen time, right? I just, you know, I think he can play a bit parts like everybody else can. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. You got it. Is Michael Caine in this movie? I did not see his name. Because I know Michael Caine is 
Nolan's I boy. I don't see a time. That's fine. Yeah, I don't see a time on this yet. But uh, I guess when we get closer, like I said, we have a release date, but I don't have a time. July sure. 21st. Mm-hmm. So this is a summer movie. So week he's, before my birthday. He's dropping this in the summer blockbuster. And that's interesting because you this type of movie normally, this is usually a fall movie. You think this is more like an Oscar bait type movie, you think? Um, like like if like if you just heard Nolan's doing an Oppenheimer movie, do you think like, oh, this I is think, gonna be a fall type? I think Nolan period is Oscar worthy. Okay. I, I mean, I don't I, I think some movies are Oscar bait. I think Harvey Weinstein gave you the formula of how to pitch a movie and get it into Oscar season and get it talked about buzz and and that whole advertising yada 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 i don't think because nolan has the backing of whatever studio he's with and how he left warner brothers i don't think nolan has to worry about that he i don't know if he has that written in his contract or whatever the deals he has is i think they're just going to do that regardless because it's a nolan movie um even his his duds or his flops has considerations whether it be lighting, directing, cinematography. Um, I know you and others have criticized the sound, but there a lot of his movies are up for sound mixing. Um, so he like the man is not short on getting accolades. So I just find it interesting that this movie is being released in a, a crowded summer blockbuster, heavy blockbuster summer. Um, whatever Marvel cranks out, whatever. Yeah, I would say you say crowded, but what is what's coming out in the summer? Um, we know we have the rest of DC slate coming out. Marvel always has at least three or four movies that have coming up. I you mean, know? sure. I guess I'm just trying to feel like what are those movies? Because you got you got Ant Man in February, mm-hmm. and I don't I don't know what's after Marvel for that. Uh, you know, we have. <coughs> Excuse me. Guardians. Um, Marvels. Um, hey, don't. Oh yeah, you don't have teeth yet, so go ahead. Um, have have a field day. Guardians, Marvels, Ant Man. They always release something in the summer. Okay, Guardians is May. Looks like. Yeah, they don't ever skip the summer. Uh, I think. Uh, what else? Uh, Mission Impossible might be in the summer. Yeah. Something else is coming out that nobody nobody skips out. And if I remember correctly, he staked out this time a while ago. It's part of when he part of his deal when he left to go to Peacock or Universal. That's um, Furious Ten, supposedly May nineteenth. Yep. So now. His is July 23rd, so he's at the tail end of the summer blockbuster season. 21st. What did I say, the 23rd? Yeah, because you were thinking 2023. Yeah, so he's he's the 21st. That movie comes out when we're at Comic-Con. I guess. Oh, that would be great. Yeah, it's the week of Comic-Con. See it out there. See it in a proper theater. Yeah. Um. Again, I, I, I'm interested... I'm inter- I'm all, but I'm also interested in the machinations of how this came to be, because remember this movie was originally supposed to be at Warner Brothers. This was originally supposed to be part of his deal at Warner Brothers, and when he got upset, when Warner Brothers basically pissed him off, and he was like, "I'm out," he mm-hmm. left, and it was a big brouhaha, big. Um, kind of like when LeBron left Cleveland the first time, a lot of people were flying him out trying to figure out who was he going to sign with and he ended up going with universal and he made you know universal has peacock he made a streaming deal he has to stay in the movie theaters a certain amount of time before it goes to peacock um he had to have a certain amount of creative control um so he's gotten basically everything he wants the question is can he deliver because you pointed out 
there are a lot of creatives in our tours who cannot handle giving the world without getting studio notes, who can't handle, you know, people telling them, hey, maybe you should. I mean, I'll say this for Nolan. I mean, I don't like the audio in some movies. But <coughs> that's, that's, that's one thing. I think the movies are fantastic. I've never looked at a Nolan movie and be like, I don't understand what's going on. I mean, I may be like, I don't like what's going on, but I get what you're going for. So I think he's going to be fine at Universal doing his own thing. I, I, just, I, I, guess, I doubt he got many notes. I don't feel like Warner Brothers was giving Nolan notes. Well, I, I don't know if they were giving him notes. I don't. I just know that he didn't like the business of how Warner Brothers, he didn't like how Warner Brothers was conducting their business. Sure. And he left. And I would like to see how he does things in a place he feels more comfortable. And this is the first movie in their deal. So if this deal, if this movie goes well, this deal works out, we could be seeing a lot more Nolan movies, maybe a shorter window or maybe him doing some of his heart's desires and not maybe because, I mean, he really. The Dark Knight trilogy was him. I don't want to say selling out, but I don't think that was like, yeah, I want to do a Batman movie, you know? Like his thing, he's always been someone who does his own IP. He's somebody who always does his own his he he brings his own imagination to re, his his dreams to real life. Mm -hmm. So I would really like to see what that what if this works out, what his next few movie, movies would entail. Fair enough. Uh, chat, let us know below what you are if you're excited for this Oppenheimer movie. Do you think audio is bad with Christopher Nolan movies? Do you agree with me? Do. do you agree with Leroy? Let us know. I, I will admit, Tenet has some issues. Like, it's just, it, it <laughs> okay. does. I, but I mean, I, but I was one of those people, I, I thought it was, and I still do, I thought that was part of the movie. Like, it wasn't bad. It was just, hey, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Do you not agree with me? I'll tell you what. You can go stay with your grandmama. I, I tell you what, the next time a reporter gives you blue video and says it's part of the thing experience, I don't want to hear nothing. Oh no, they'd never say that. See, that's the that's the difference. <laughs> they never say that. I've literally gotten. See, that's where you're wrong. None of them are that creative. Because I've okay. literally gotten. I've I've asked somebody. I said, "Do you have a tripod?" Yeah, I've watched them walk with it. So you didn't? <laughs> no, nah, I didn't need it. Oh, you didn't? Okay. See, they, they said, no, nah, I didn't need it. I was doing but, something here. But this is the thing. <laughs> they thought the shot was steady. See, that's the oh, difference. Man. See, if they were like, yeah, I was going for something. I was going for an in the moment. I, you know what? Cool. Tr you know, let's go a different route. Nah, yeah. they was like, I can hold it. Like somebody with Parkinson's who's sundowning or a toddler uh. trying to give themselves a bottle. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Like, I, I, if you're trying something, I, like, how many times have we said we may not like Zack Snyder's Justice League, but we can appreciate he tried something. He, he went out, he, he, he did something different. Mm -hmm. I, I may not like it, but I can respect what you did. There we go. And that's what with Nolan. I can respect what he did, and if it was wrong, I, okay, cool. He, you know, he messed up, but I thought it was part of the, the ambiance, that overpowering. Okay. Um. On that note, like, comment, and subscribe to like our ambiance and respect what we do here as we try to make more videos for you guys, the fans, as we continue to grow this grow this channel. Uh, be sure to follow us at We Trying at YouTube and Facebook. We trying y'all at Twitter, Instagram, Twitch. And possibly Hive. Yep, there we go. That's why I didn't write it. We're not confident. I, I don't know what Hive's doing right now. <laughs> you I may keep find getting, us a Hive. I, don't I know. keep getting status updates. Talk about they sending updates, and I'm like, yeah, I can't post nothing. <laughs> okay. <There we> go. <laughs> uh, eventually, you may find us on Hive on other social media channels. Uh, until then, we out. Peace. Say bye, buddy. <laughs>